welcome to this week's show. This week I'm out towards the west coast of Florida and uh, I haven't even found a spot to sketch yet. I basically just jumped in the car and come to this area which is called the Citrus Wildlife Management Area, I think. Drove a couple of miles down this dirt track and found some walking track. <laughs> I don't know what's up here. It's mildly interesting because there's a hill which is unusual in Florida. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm looking for some water. But um, So I thought it was appropriate actually that I talk about something I wanted to talk about for a while this week, considering I, this is very random and I don't know really what I'm doing. But not that that's something unusual. But um, anyway, yeah, I thought I'd talk about that aspect of my sketch, sketching and art altogether. Um, I mean, obviously it can be divided, the creative process, into the known and the unknown. And what is the difference between the two? Well, the known is actually much, much smaller. And, uh, well, I guess you could say it's finite, isn't it? At any given point in time, you only know so much. Whereas the unknown is always infinite. So the known is things like, I know how to sketch. I know things like how to, what happens when I put the ink on the paper? What happens if I use this brush, that brush? Um, you know, I've been sketching a while now, so I, there's certain sort of technical things that I know are gonna happen when I sketch. Um, paper, what type of paper does this, that? There are subtle differences. Um, also different inks do different things. So, you know, What's known is basically the technical aspects, the sort of things you learn, learn in courses. Um, uh, what's my, much more interesting is the, the unknown aspect. Um, and what's that about? Well, it's kind of how it is at the moment. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> um, I'm just sort of stumbling through the forest. But um, so there's that. There's, may I, will I even find a good composition to sketch? And with the sort of art I do, it's very important because I am relying on nature to provide a good composition. So there's that. Then once I get it, decide on uh, a scene, well, that unknown then becomes known. I now have the composition in front of me. So that's the big, probably the biggest actually, unknown becoming known. So that's uh, the first big step. And then, when I get into it, uh, the unknown then is things like, well, what do I assinuate, this or that? You know, you're selecting. I'm not gonna, like I've said before, I mean, the style I do, I'm, considering I'm just trying to get all done in a couple of hours, I'm not gonna do all the detail of everything, you know? And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna select this or that, I'm gonna assinuate this or that, particularly with the tone. I'm going to accentuate tone here and not there and so on. And you've also got to work with the light. So if you can't get it quick, done quick enough with the light, you've got to kind of compensate for that with the shadows and so on. Now, so there's a lot of this. Obviously, it's, the unknown is infinite and it's a much bigger subject. Um, but it's that. It's the unknown, uh, which is, to me, makes it exciting. I, like I've said before, I get bored. If I was just doing it all, just to replicate it when I used to do that, um, it makes it a very boring if I was just to replicate what I see. So the unknown is where uh, there's a risk. The risk is that um, when you try this or that, uh, it, the, the, the sketch might come out a flop, right? Uh, but on the flip side of that, it might, it's that, it's that element, the unknown, that is uh, potentially going to make it something really moving. And with the end product, what I finish up with, that's what I suggest, is, you know, what is it that makes a piece of art really great, the great works of art that have been created 
over the years, and my opinion, particularly hundreds of years ago, is the <coughs> it's the kind of it's the unknown. It was the unknown that was grasped by the artist as he was creating the the piece of art, sort of plucked out of the air, as you could say, it's, and put into the sketch. All right. Uh, and it is in the sketch because if it wasn't in the sketch you wouldn't know of it all right it has to be there it's not I can't transfer something from my imagination to yours via a sketch unless it's in the sketch obviously right so I, I've taken something that was unknown and I've made it known <laughs> but it's still in the realm of the unknown and that you can't quite describe it in an absolute clear concrete terms so this I mean as I've said on a previous video it's the mysteries in life that people are absolutely enthralled with people are compelled by mysteries they love mysteries and to me this is what it makes a piece of art great um, is the mysteriousness of what the artist has put in there that you can't quite put your finger on and uh, yeah it's, it's it's all there in the end it, it is a an actual sketch in reality so um, this is a little different than say uh, someone just telling you something out of their imagination um, doesn't have any it's, it doesn't have any concrete form so I am giving this mysteriousness a concrete form anyway <laughs> but I'm not gonna go too much longer because I fear that I might confuse you but <laughs> you know it's a very important thing to talk about for me because I both appreciate art great art and I am an artist so this is so much more important to me than the technical aspect because if you want to learn how to technically sketch just go and learn I, I could teach you or you know you can do it, go and do a course but what I'm talking about you can't really learn but you can find out by sketching okay and um, this is so important this is not just the what makes a piece of art great but it's what gives me the enthusiasm to want to sketch. Anyway, I'm going to stop now <laughs> because I, I hope that I haven't confused you. But like I say, it is a very important thing to mention. And in saying that, uh, looks like I'm going to be turning back soon because I have no idea where I'm walking. Um, but that's all part of the fun of it, isn't it? But when I find a place, I'm going to sit down and sketch. Thankfully, it's not raining and I'll show you, show you how I get on. All right, thanks. Okay, so this is uh, this week's sketch. We'll see how we get on. It's um, in the Cape Canaveral area, very close to where I did the one with the airboats and also the park. Um, the guy Burton Park, whatever his name is. Um, and uh, I have the honking of, I think it's alligators. I think that noise, I always hear this honking noise in the ponds here. I think it's alligators. Anyway, um, I'm going to crack on with it now and I'll show you the stages as I get uh, through it. 